Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we'll be looking at our employee application and extending it to add additional functionality to our homepage, as well as creating pages for our employees, a page for our um, adding and editing of employees, and also an about page. So to get started, find the application in your uh, portal and click on the three dots and click on edit. This will redirect you to uh, the designer. So we can see on the screen here, we have our template, we have our master, uh, master page, and we have our, our home screen. So what I want to do is go over to our master screen. And if we expand that, we can see we have an icon for our header, which is uh, this icon over here. And I also want to add an icon over here for the home so we can navigate back to our home page. So what I will do, I will click on this icon on the three dots, and I will say copy and I will click on paste. So if we have a look here, you can see we've got uh, this icon duplicated. There's no functionality behind it, but it does have um, an icon which is set to template header icon. And if we remove that, we can type over here home and it changes the icon to the home icon. We could have done the same by clicking on icons under insert and inserting the home icon. We could have also selected the item and clicked on the, the drop down over here to um, select the icon that we want. Each or any of those ways is, is okay. So um, I just did it this way. And uh, what we also need to check is the color. So if you look at the, the color of the icon, it's getting the color from the template header icon. So if we change the color of the template header icon, all this icon over here will be changed as well as this one. And the text will also be changed if we update it in our template. So it's an easy way to keep everything unique and reducing your amount of effort. So I'll select the, the home icon again. What I want to do is add a navigation to it. So I will go to um, on select. And basically the on select, we will be adding a function and this function will navigate the user to uh, the home page. So if we are in one of our other pages, for example, the about page and we click on home, it will redirect us. So we haven't looked at navigation before, but if we type navigate and we put a, a pair of brackets there, we can add our screen that we want to navigate to. So currently we only have template, master and home uh, and uh, uh, I don't want to navigate to any of those. So I'm only gonna say the home screen and you need to separate that with a comma and then you have option to add a transition. So let's just have a look at the different transitions that we have. So we have cover, cover right, uh, fade, none, uncover, uncover right. And those are the transitions that we have. So I'll select uh, cover and that will add the functionality to that icon. So let's duplicate this master page. So if we click, right click on it and go to duplicate screen, you can see we have a new screen created. I will rename the screen. You can either click on the ellipses or right click on it. And I will name the screen employee screen. Again, you can name this whatever you want. Uh, I just want to name it employee screen to, to, to relate to the content that would be on there. So try give it descriptive names, but uh, call it whatever you want. So if we, we go through the process again and we duplicate the screen, in this case, we will rename this uh, to um, uh, edit. So the edit screen will be used for both adding and editing uh, selected uh, employees. And uh, I will just call it edit screen, but you could call it any anything that you want. And then we will add another one, which we will call um, about. So if we look at that now in our tree view, you can see we've got our template, we've got our master, we've got our about, we've got our edit screen, 
employee screen and home screen. If we click on home screen, you can see we don't have an icon there, which is correct. But if we look on our employee screen, we have our icon to our employee. What we can do is uh, we can run this application. So uh, now we are on our employee screen. Obviously, there's no information displayed there. But if we click on home, it will navigate us back to home. And you can see the transition that was enabled there. Great. So on our home page, uh, what I want to do is add some buttons. And this button will be to navigate to the different areas. We could also add that at the top here. but. Uh, just for demonstration purposes, I will add the button because we haven't used a button before. Um, but you could also add the employee information directly on the screen. But again, this is only for, for demonstration purposes. So on our uh, home screen, I want to add a button. So if we go to insert button and we can just drag that down to our screen, we can resize it and uh, position it on the left. We will be duplicating this, but I first want to uh, configure it. So uh, let's set the color for this, this item. We can either go to the color in the drop down here, or we can select the color in the um, uh, properties. And I will set this color to, uh, the colors not available in my palette here. So I will go to uh, custom colors and I will give it a color of BAE 1F2. So this is the same color that I'll have for my, um, uh, menu bar. Let's select the button again. Uh, I want to make some other changes to it. Uh, you could change the, the font. I'll leave the font as it is, but I'll change the size to 20. Or we can even change it to 30. And uh, I will set the vertical alignment uh, to bottom. If we scroll up to the top, we will also need to give the some text over here, and I will change that to view. And I will also rename the button to uh, view BTN. Again, you can give it any name that you want. And uh, if you want to preview your button, what you can do, you can either click on the play or you can hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. And if you hover over it, you can see that it uh, has a hover effect. So to change the hover effect, we need to select our button. Um, and if we go to uh, on the button, you can see over here, we have a option for fill. And you can see this fill color is set to uh, an RGB value. So what we need to do is uh, copy that RGB value. If we scroll down to hover fill, you can see it's got a color fade, RGBA uh, 5696171 and minus 20%. So that, that is a function that's assigned to it that's displaying the previous color. So what I will do, I will select that value because this is not the color that I want. And I will paste the color that I copied, which is the same color as our menu. So if we want to test that, we can click on the Alt button. And now if we hover over it, you can see it has uh, uh, the same color as our, our uh, top bar, but with a different shade. What I also want to do is I want to add an icon. Uh, so if you select your icon and we scroll down, I think in our application, we use the default icon for our application as uh, employee over here. So I will use that again to view the employees. And if we move this down, we can increase the size and uh, we can set the, the color if we scroll down to um, white. So you can see over here we have an icon for our, our home screen and this will take us to our uh, um, view our employees. I just want to show you something in the tree view. So notice over here we have icon 2 which is uh, this icon over here and we have view. So if we change the order, so if we uh, reorder and we say uh, bring back or send back, it will move it to uh, behind the button. And if we actually go preview our button and hover over it, you can see we don't see our icon. So if you're adding items in your, in your, on your page and you cannot see them, it's probably because of the position that they're in. So if we select reorder and say bring to front, 
now it's visible. So what I also need to do is add some navigation to this button. So if we select the button and we go to uh, on select and we can remove that false and we can put in navigate and this will take us to our employee screen which you can see over here and if you uh, put a comma we can set the transition to, to uh, cover and let's just close that uh, bracket off and uh, if we we if we hover over it and we we press the alt key and we hover over it you can see we we can either click but nothing happens that's because we're clicking on the the employee icon but if we click on the button this will redirect us so to fix that i will go to our employee icon and I will say on select and I'll also put navigate. Open and close brackets and I will say employee, employee screen, comma, screen transition. And now if we actually run the application, you can see we have our uh, button on our screen and if we click on the, the icon or if we click on the actual button, it will redirect us to our home uh, to our employee screen. And we also have an option to click on home. I like that, but I just want to move this down a little bit and reposition it. And what I also want to do is I want to d duplicate it. So you can either select both items and say copy. And you can paste it. And you can position it. Uh, on your screen and let's do that a third time and we will move that across and we will paste it on the side here so you can see we have uh, view 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 and they all have the same functionality so that's not really what we want so if you select the second icon we can um, we can re rename that to add and this will be used to add our our new employees to our list in SharePoint so what we also would want to do, we would want to go to the on select and we can see over here it's defaulting to employee screen because we, uh, we selected that. But uh, maybe we should change this to add or edit. I think the screen was called. So edit. And we also need to select the button, uh, the icon, sorry, and select the drop down and use the add icon. So we replace that. And we also have to go to on select for, for um, the icon. And we can just rename the navigation on here to edit. Great, so that's our edit button and our view button done. We will come back to our ed, uh, edit button and add button because uh, we need to add some other functionality because we'll be adding some forms to those pages, but we will address that in another video. So if we select our view button, we need to do the same process. So let's uh, call this about. And if we scroll down, uh, you can make any other changes that you want, uh, such as uh, the icon. So let's select the icon and we will change this to the information icon. Let's just scroll down. I think it's right at the end. And both the button and the icon need to have an on select uh, navigation added. So we will name this about screen. Let's just remove that. I think we only named that about, we didn't name it about screen. Uh, and let's do that same thing for our icon. Great, so now if we run this application, you can see it defaults onto our uh, homepage. We have our top bar at the top there. And if we click on view employee, uh, it's no information over here. We will have our employee information. We'll start with that on the next uh, video, but we have a, a, a link at the top here for home. And if we go back to home, we can go to add. We also have a link at the top here for, for going back to home and then our about page. So our about page, I don't know what information you will have over here, but I'll add some basic information. Uh, but if you click on home, 
you will be redirected to your home page. Great, so if we look at our tree view, uh, what we did in this uh, video, we added, uh, we edited our master page, we added an about page, we added an edit screen and an employee screen, and we also added buttons to our home page. Try that out and, and maybe play with the colors and add different properties, but we will be continuing in the next video with our employee screen and adding a gallery and uh, uh, start configuring uh, the screen. So let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.